The name Perkins, carved in stone, below a Gothic tower a boy navigates with a cane. No more confusion about transition to adult services with Beth Jordan. I really see that there are a couple of keys to success and for the family, um, a lot of times they can feel like the burden is all on them to help their child go from high school to life beyond high school. And so what I encourage them to do is establish a person-centered futures plan on behalf of their child. It's, um, it's student focused. It looks at their strengths, their capabilities, their interests, and it doesn't just put all of the burden on the family. It shares that load with other service providers, with people who know the family, friends, people in the community, people who know supports. And um, that process helps to establish a dream for that student and then they work through action steps to make that dream come to life. There are several um, tools that are a part of that person-centered futures planning process. One of them is called essential lifestyle plans. Um, one of them is called uh, person futures, personal futures planning. And then McGill Action Planning System is a third tool. We see the cover of a personal futures planning workbook titled Life Building, Opening Windows to Change by Dr. Beth Mount. But those are really um, great processes to help move from the school to life beyond the school. Fade to black.